Hello and welcome to today's tutorial where I'm going to show you how to use the Parallel Finance DAP in order to take advantage of the DeFi features but I'm more specifically going to focus on the swap feature uh, which contains a specific cryptocurrency that I personally believe is worth it simply because you can get a certain earning from it uh, by using it rather than staking you can take advantage of this specific swap feature with this specific crypto token so stay tuned uh, if you're new here by the way my name is claudio and this is crypto chain so please make sure to hit that subscribe button and enable notifications to not miss the next video that i will upload that may interest you so let's kick things off now you can find the link to this by the way in the description of the video and also in the pinned comment we are on the parallel finance app here we're on the overview page and the first thing that you actually need to do, depending on what wallet you're using, you need to connect on the top right hand corner here. As you can see, I am connected using my Polka.js wallet because I am doing this through the laptop. You can also do this through the mobile, by the way, with Nova Wallet. Make sure to check that tutorial of Nova Wallet and you can connect through that. Now, you don't need to use the parallel wallet multi chain. You can install it if you want and use it. But I'm just using Polka.js for this now. This is the overview page so here you could see your balance if you had any uh, but because i don't have any i can go to the swap feature and by the way we are on the polka dot section here there's also the kusama one called parallel heiko so both are within the same dashboard to make it easy for you so here we can see the swap feature which is pretty much like any typical dex that allows you to swap here we can swap between dot and para and the para is the native cryptocurrency of the parallel finance para chain on polka dot the other thing I'd like to mention here is that in order to be able to do any kind of swap, you need to first XCM transfer your DOT from the relay chain over to Parallel Finance. And you can actually see here that because I don't have any DOT, I am being asked to deposit. So just hit deposit here. And here would tell me the available amount. I don't have any in this wallet on the relay chain, but if I did, Parallel Finance's dashboard is pretty smart in that it verifies your balance and it ensures that you can only transfer or teleport out because you're ultimately teleporting from one parachain to another or from a relay chain in this case over to the parachain you can only teleport amounts that doesn't actually freeze your other wallet your main wallet on the relay chain so remember that you always need to have one dot plus some for the transaction fee in order to keep that wallet alive and so it doesn't get frozen and so parallel know that and they'll only allow you to transfer the available balance that you are able to do so without freezing that wallet so if you had 2.5 dot for example you will allow you to transfer out around 1.45 or something like that right so it would allow you to uh, transfer out whatever you can over the freezing limit so that you can still transact out the remainder balance if you want uh, from your relay chain okay so that's something to keep in mind of course you just select the quantity here you acknowledge that you are not using a ledger wallet because they don't support ledger then you hit confirm you sign the transaction with your password and you're done okay so here uh, we can swap between dot and para we can swap between dot and usdt lc dot acl dot glimmer fala as well uh, inter from interlay ibtc from interlay s dot which is the staking derivative of um, dot on parallel finance i will be talking about that when i get to it then there's c.613 c.714 and c.815 and i think these are the important ones that i want to mention to you because i believe that you can take advantage of this again it's not financial advice but rather than staking there is a benefit to having this if you have dot and why i'm personally swapping all of my dot that i'm accumulating for c.613 and simply the reason being is because as you can see here it has changed quite a bit in the last while now the parity is 1 to 20 as you can see here so with each one dot you can get 1.20 c.613 and what this means is that this is the crowd loan dot so if you had contributed not necessarily yourself but maybe other people who have contributed to the uh, crowd loans on polkadot through parallel finance because it is possible to contribute to those crowd loans i'll show you where they would have gotten the c.613 this is for the very first round of crowd loans uh, from the parachain auction round one back in december of 2021 so what this means is that you will be able to swap this c.613 on a one-to-one -one ratio with relay chain dot which is this one here and you may be asking well why is it cheaper well it's simply because of the liquidity situation so although people got it on a one-to-one -one ratio with their dot 
uh, as soon as they contributed to a crowd loan they rushed to sell this c dot in order to have liquid assets that they wanted to maybe sell or maybe they wanted to contribute to more crowd loans and so they sold pretty much at a loss because this is the risk you're taking so in time as time goes by when we we'll get closer to october this is going to uh, get narrower and narrower and it's going to get closer to this pegging here and it's going to be pegging to dot basically so what's going to happen is that you'll no longer be getting 1.2 c.613 but you'll be getting pretty much one to one maybe like 101 102 something like that when it gets to october because on the 20th of october you will be able to swap this c.613 for dot and here's why i am personally bullish on this because if you think about it right now it is worth about 550 considering with that you've got this discount here okay because dot is priced around 650 right now so this is just to give you an idea of why i'm personally doing this okay it's up to you if you want to do it as well but for me this is worth it now there's also c.714 and this is c dot which you can swap back sometime in january okay so you got the one in october then you got the one in january as you can see you are getting more c dot here 126 and then there's the final one which you get sometime in march and this is even more 129 if you are patient now one thing to keep in mind is that the more you increase this balance as you can see it is dropping it's no longer 129 but it's 124.5 because it does like that liquidity and by the time you switch 1000 if you want to swap 1000 then it's even less 919 here so that's something to keep in mind okay that the more you increase this the less you get so what i'm personally doing is i usually swap something like 50 dot every once in a while for c.613 which is the one that's going to be swappable in october uh, maybe i do 100 like 100 was the most i ever did at one time and then i give it some time for that liquidity to kick in and then i usually swap another 100 but if you do too much at once then that slippage kicks in and then you don't get that much now the other thing you can do here just like with any other decks you can supply liquidity to certain pairs it's up to you which one you want to choose as you can see some of these pools offer you uh, different apys here so if you supply it on the usdt para pool you get 24.7 percent apy if you supply it on the c.613 dot pool you get 19.73 percent apy and so on we've also got the money market here and then on the money market you can lend and borrow and it also tells you which ones are liquidation free again this is high risk here for some of them if you're borrowing then you are risking that liquidation uh, just as with anything in DeFi. so just keep that in mind here you can see what the total value locked is that's quite a lot right 6.97 million in dot there uh, the apy 17.59 percent the available liquidity and the borrow apy and uh, also the lending apy okay so here you could see what you can expect now if you are lending c dot you don't have any liquidation whatsoever here so there's zero liquidation risk but you only get about 50 percent or 60 percent of your c dot value in another coin you will need to pay back that coin in order to unlock your c dot okay so that's uh, the other thing that you've got to uh, know when it comes to the money market now, now when it comes to stake and dot here you could see that the apy is 23.99 percent okay this is assuming zero lending but remember that this is compounded reward okay so this is assuming that you are okay to compound your dot rewards over the full year okay over the full 12 months you get 23.99 percent so it is better than staking with a validator directly now if you are to stake one dot for example which you can do uh, you can get the estimated monthly earnings of 12.4 cents and you also get the s dot derivative token which is not pegged on a one-to-one -one ratio with dot as you can see here you get 0.88 as dot but if you want to swap this as dot back for dot you can do so okay while you continue to get those rewards for staking because you are ultimately staking that original dot but you just decided to swap that as dot for dot and so what you can do is that, that means that you're never going to be able to get that dot back unless you swap that s dot back at an equal value uh, that you would, uh, would have gotten right in order to get your dot back so that's the other thing you need to keep in mind here there is a staking fee of 0.3 percent and a platform fee of three percent okay so obviously the more you stake here as you can see uh, what you can expect with 100 dot you get about 13 bucks every month with 1000 dot you get 130 with 10,000 dot you get 1300 dollars every month and of course you also get 8844 s dot okay so that's what you can expect here now the other thing here if we look at the swap feature and we look at s dot so assuming we would have gotten a 0 
you could see that if you want to swap it for dot you're getting 0 0.98 so you're slightly losing some dot but you're not losing that much dot right it's just a slight bit of course the bigger the balance that you're swapping say if you're swapping a larger quantity uh, then you are getting less and less because of that liquidity but you are not losing that much after all if you think about it you're just losing some right but remember that you are still getting those staking rewards okay this is just assuming that you're not patient enough and you want to sell that as dot for dot and you just want to keep that other dot in staking forever right you don't care about anything else you're just generating those rewards okay then you can do that you do have that freedom to swap that as dot at any point okay so that's one of the advantages of parallel finance the DeFi dap over the traditional staking directly through the relay chain with a validator okay that is the difference just to make it very clear the cross chain feature is basically the teleport feature or the xcm transfer feature you can call it either way what this means is that it allows you to transfer or teleport from the relay chain over to the parachain or from another parachain over to this parachain right so we've got our list here if we click on the drop down from the polkadot relay chain over to parallel from fala networks parachain over to parallel from akala from statement from interlay over to parallel and if we were to choose for example from fala we can only go to parallel if we were to choose to akala we can only go to par so if we were to choose any of these we can only go to parallel however if you want to go the other way around for example if you want to go from parallel over to polkadot or fala we can do so of course akala statement interlay so we can only do one to one as you can see here you cannot do one to many okay that is how the relationship is here when it comes to cross chain transfers okay and then of course you choose the asset in the case of interlay you've got multiple assets remember i was telling you about intor and ibtc ibtc is a token on top of the interlay parachain and because it is swappable on parallels finances dashboard you can transfer this in and out as well ibtc you choose the amount you hit transfer you sign the transaction and you're done one of the other features here is the farm feature so if we go to the farm feature we can see everything that you can farm here so there's the liquidity pool for usdt para with offering you a 24.72 percent apy there's the ibtc para liquidity pool offering you 16.4 percent apy here you can see all the total value locked uh, here you could see if you have deposited anything now if you have deposited uh, you would show here but if because it didn't you know i've got the option to deposit here and you earn para rewards okay so all the rewards from these uh, farming pools are all paid out in para which is the official cryptocurrency of the parallel finance parachain you simply hit deposit here you choose the amount that you want to deposit now we needed to have this amount because we don't have any lp uh, pairs so you need to actually create some lp pairs first and then once you do that uh, then you'd get those lp coins or lp tokens on this specific pair when you want to supply that liquidity you generate the lp pair and then you can choose the amount here and it basically tells you what you can expect here how many rewards uh, per day okay this is what you can expect per day here so that's how you do it then you just simply claim when it is available and uh, withdraw if you want to withdraw everything and then swap it back to the original coin the next feature that i will talk about is the crowd loan feature now the crowd loan feature allows you to contribute to any of the crowd loans that are taking place on polkadot of course you can also do the same on kusama on the parallel high conversion of this dap no crowd loans available here and because of that you know there's nothing for me to contribute to but if we scroll down here you could see the list of all the different crowd loans that parallel finance supported remember that if there is a crowd loan on polka.js it doesn't necessarily mean it has to show up on parallel finance because they need to actually talk to the parallel finance team and they need to submit that they want that crowd loan to be supported on parallel finance and they usually offer some sort of bonus in para coins as well so here you could see what the bonus was including early bird including referral bonus and so on so that's how you get an idea so here you could see list the project this is what you actually need to do if you happen to run a crowd loan now with regards to redeeming dot this is where you actually go to redeem that dot that i told you about like 613 and then the other ones now there's nothing available right now but on the 20th of october it will be possible to redeem that c.613 for relay dot and of course the status will show up there and that's when we would have to do it the other thing i want to talk about is the my rewards page so if you go to my rewards on the crowd loan here you could see your list of crowd loan rewards this is where you could claim your specific coin 
for which you need to get the crowd loan rewards for because you've contributed through parallel finance and then you can also claim your para bonus uh, this is just so you know in case you had contributed through parallel finance the next and final feature here is DAOFI okay this feature is for the decentralized autonomous organization which is basically a way for you to earn some rewards by contributing to the DAO okay in order for you to do this you need to first join that DAO so you need to go on the parallel finance telegram group or discord group and ask around how you can join that DAO and once you do that then you need to follow certain rules here and uh, you need to send some payments in order to kind of like lock that fund in the DAO and then you receive some funds over time it's kind of like staking but I'm not 100% sure on how it works because I have not joined that DAO and I haven't asked around exactly to see what the strategy is but just know that this option is available so if you ask the team members I'm sure they'll be happy to help you an admin or anyone else uh, that's part of the team in both the official discord or the official telegram groups just make sure not to get scammed be very very wary of that because people will dm you on telegram or discord if you ask questions in the public group so just be very wary and making sure that you're talking to a real admin about this and if you click the kusama tab here as you can see the colors have changed to pinkish here and this is on parallel haiko okay it is a little bit different except it's on the Kusama version. So it's the Canary Network of Parallel Finance called Parallel Heiko. Now, if we go to the swap page here, you can't actually take advantage of the same benefit as with uh, CDOT, okay? When it comes to KSM, for example, you could see KSM here, there's HKO, which is the official parachain coin of Parallel Heiko. It even tells you here HKO. However, there is CKSM 2027, which is the next one that's due to get uh, swapped on a one-to-one -one ratio however if you look here if you want to swap this for ckSM it actually gives you less ksm so the official ksm is actually worth less than ckSM 2027 so there's no benefit whatsoever here unfortunately if you want to deposit ksm it's exactly the same you hit deposit here and you choose the amount and of course it ensures that you're leaving some for the transaction fees to keep that wallet alive every other feature is exactly the same so just so you know uh it's just basically the Kusama version, the Canary version of Parallel Finance. That's been it from today's tutorial. I hope you found this informative. Please don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed it and leave a comment below telling me what you think. And of course, if you have any questions, uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.